Imagine a shield, but not just any ordinary shield. This is a vast shield designed for an entire nation, reaching high into the sky. China has recently developed such a remarkable new protector. It is called the HQ-19 Missile Defense System. This system represents a truly significant step forward in the world of missile defense technology. It was officially shown to the public for the first time in November 2024. Understandably, people across the globe are talking about it, and for very good reason. It showcases a new level of technological achievement for the nation. China is clearly demonstrating its growing scientific and engineering strength with this innovation. Now you might wonder, why do countries need these enormous invisible shields? Think for a moment about incredibly fast rockets or missiles speeding through the atmosphere. These objects can be extremely dangerous if they are aimed at cities or other important national locations. Missile defense systems like the HQ-19 act as ever-watchful guardians. Their primary mission is to detect and track these incoming threats. Then crucially, their job is to intercept and stop them before they can cause any devastation. It is all about ensuring the safety and security of people living on the ground below, a truly vital and challenging task. The HQ-19 system did not simply appear overnight, as if by some feat of magic. Instead, dedicated scientists and brilliant engineers in China worked tirelessly on it for many, many years. This ambitious journey began way back in the late 1990s. It was part of a large, forward-thinking national initiative known as Program 863. They conducted their first major successful trial in 2021, which proved that the complex system could indeed work as designed. In that very same year, Chinese officials announced that it was ready for active service within China. So, this powerful system is the impressive result of long, careful work and many clever ideas finally coming together. So what is it that makes the HQ-19 so particularly special and noteworthy? It is far more than just another piece of advanced military equipment. It stands as a powerful symbol of China's rapidly advancing technological capabilities. It clearly demonstrates how far the country has progressed in developing sophisticated methods to protect its territory. This innovative system could fundamentally change how various countries around the world approach the concept of national defense. It is considered by many experts to be a real game-changer in the complex field of missile defense. Its arrival prompts us to consider the future of global security carefully. So how does this impressive HQ-19 system actually manage to stop a speeding enemy missile? The process is quite amazing to consider. It is specifically designed to intercept and neutralize threats far above the surface of the Earth, in the cold, silent emptiness of space. This operational domain is called exoatmospheric interception. Try to imagine the incredible difficulty of trying to hit a tiny, super-fast bullet with another, even faster bullet. That is the kind of immense technological challenge that we are discussing here. The HQ-19 achieves this by using something called a Kinetic Kill Vehicle, or KKV. This means it destroys the incoming target simply by crashing directly into it with immense force, no explosives needed for the interceptor, just pure focused impact. To perform its critical job effectively, the HQ-19 needs truly exceptional eyes. It is equipped with a very powerful and sophisticated radar system which is known as the Type 610A radar. This advanced radar can detect objects from incredibly far distances. We are talking about an estimated detection range of around 4,000 kilometers. To put that into perspective, that's like someone in London being able to see something happening all the way over in Moscow. This extraordinary long-range vision gives the system precious, vital time. It provides enough time to spot the approaching danger, accurately track its path, and then carefully decide how best to respond to eliminate the threat. Not only can the HQ-19 see incredibly far, but its interceptor missiles can also reach very far. The missiles it fires are estimated to have an impressive operational range of about 3,000 kilometers. This extensive reach means that a single HQ-19 system has the capability to protect a very large geographical area of a country, and it's not a static system, rooted in one place. The entire system is mounted on large, highly mobile, eight-wheeled transporter erector launcher or TEL trucks. Each of these trucks typically carry six missiles ready for launch. They employ a cold launch mechanism which enhances safety and allows them to be redeployed and set up again relatively quickly if necessary. What kind of specific threats can this mighty defensive shield effectively handle? It is primarily designed to counter some of the most challenging and dangerous aerial threats that exist. 
it can confidently go after long-range ballistic missiles, the type that fly very high and travel at incredible speeds. These missiles could potentially be carrying conventional explosive warheads or even devastating nuclear ones, but its capabilities do not stop there. It can also successfully tackle advanced supersonic cruise missiles such as the BrahMos and even newly emerging hypersonic glide vehicles. Some intelligence reports even suggest it might possess the ability to target satellites operating in low Earth orbit, showcasing its versatility. When we discuss the world's top-tier missile defense systems, America's THAAD, or Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, system often comes to the forefront of the conversation. China's HQ-19 is now widely considered to be right up there with it, a genuine peer. Much like the THAAD system, the HQ-19 is designed to operate outside the Earth's atmosphere, in the vacuum of space. It also employs that same clever hit-to-kill technology, relying on direct impact rather than an explosive warhead to destroy its target. Many defense experts around the world are now looking very closely at the HQ-19's published specifications and test results. They suggest its performance might even match, or perhaps in some specific aspects, even exceed that of the THAAD system. The HQ-19 system isn't just a standalone technological marvel, it is a crucial component in China's much broader and more comprehensive national defense strategy. You can think of it like the protective layers of an onion, where each distinct layer provides an additional level of security. China is actively building a sophisticated multi-layered missile defense architecture, the HQ-19 helps to protect the highest, outermost layer of this defensive shield. It is designed to work in concert with other Chinese air defense systems, such as the HQ-9 and HQ-22, which are responsible for engaging threats at different altitudes and ranges. This is all part of China's overarching strategy to control access to its airspace and territory, often referred to as A2AD, or Anti-Access Slash Area Denial. Why is the HQ-19 missile defense system so very important for China itself, from a strategic perspective? Well, at its core it provides China with a much stronger and more reliable shield. It is a shield specifically designed to protect against some of the most potent and advanced missile threats that currently exist in the world. This capability greatly boosts China's overall national security. It makes the country feel significantly safer and more secure from external coercion or attack, it also grants China a greater degree of independence and autonomy in how it manages its own defense and foreign policy. It is a clear indication of their growing confidence. Recent global events have also served to highlight precisely why advanced systems like the HQ-19 are increasingly in demand. For example, there was a brief but intense four-day conflict between Pakistan and India in May of 2025. During that period of heightened tension and military exchange, certain vulnerabilities in existing air defense systems became quite apparent. When such shortcomings are exposed, nations understandably begin to look for better, more effective ways to protect themselves. This situation makes highly advanced systems like the HQ-19 extremely attractive to countries seeking to bolster their defenses. It demonstrates that real-world conflicts can rapidly alter national security priorities and accelerate military modernization programs. It is not only China that fully recognizes the immense strategic value of the HQ-19 system. Many other countries around the globe are watching its development and deployment with considerable interest. Pakistan, for instance, is reportedly in advanced negotiations with China to acquire this cutting-edge system. Following the recent conflict with India, Pakistan is keen to significantly strengthen its air defenses. The HQ-19 could offer a substantial enhancement to its capabilities, particularly against India's diverse missile arsenal. If this potential sale goes through, it would also serve to make the already close military and technological ties between China and Pakistan even stronger and more strategically aligned. Pakistan is not the only nation showing keen interest in this advanced defensive technology. Egypt is another country that has indicated it might want to procure the HQ-19. They have also been actively looking at other modern Chinese military equipment, such as the J-10CE multi-role fighter jets and PL-15 air-to-air missiles. Furthermore, Egypt and China have recently conducted significant joint military drills, signaling deepening defense cooperation. Adding to this growing list, some reports suggest that Saudi Arabia has also expressed a degree of interest in acquiring this powerful missile shield. 
This pattern clearly shows that China's advanced defense technology is rapidly gaining a notable global reputation and an expanding customer base. What are the potential implications when such a potent and sophisticated defense system begins to spread to new geographical regions? If Pakistan, for example, successfully acquires the HQ-19, it will necessitate significant upgrades across many areas of its military infrastructure. This would include its command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, C4ISR systems, as well as secure data networks and extensive training for its personnel. The deployment of the HQ-19 in the region could also prompt India to reassess and potentially accelerate its own military development plans. India might in response speed up the development of its own advanced missile programs or even anti-satellite or ASAT weapons. So in conclusion the HQ-19 is far more than just a new type of missile. It represents a very important technological and strategic development for China and indeed for the wider world. It clearly showcases China's incredible progress in designing and manufacturing highly advanced defense technology. It also underscores China's growing and influential role as a major supplier of sophisticated weapons systems on the international market. The proliferation of the HQ-19 could potentially shift strategic balances of power in different regions. It serves as a stark reminder that the global landscape of defense and security is always dynamic and constantly evolving. New technologies continually reshape how nations view their security.